Here's kind of a tricky problem where we're given the lengths of a column of fluid at two different temperatures and we're basically being asked to do something called extrapolation where we find other temperatures that'll correspond to other lengths. So what we want to do is assume that the temperature and the length have a linear relationship. So we'll basically set up kind of a slope uh, relationship here. So the change in temperature divided by the change in the length of the column. So there's a difference between 100 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius that we're given. And for this change of temperature, there is a change in length from 22.79 centimeters from 12.61 centimeters. So if we put this like rate of change into a calculator, we find a relationship of 9.823 degrees Celsius per centimeter. So from this, from this information, from this rate, we can extrapolate that the temperature at some given length, the temperature for some given length, is going to be equal to that rate that we just found, 9.823 degrees Celsius per centimeter, multiplied by how much the length has expanded from 12.61 centimeters. So L minus 12.61 centimeters. So now let's apply this to parts A and B of the problem. So in part A, we're looking for the temperature if the column is at 18.7 centimeters. So there for 18.7 centimeters, the temperature is 9.823 times the length minus, times specifically 18.7 minus 12.61. And if we put that into a calculator, then we find a temperature of 59.8 degrees Celsius. 59.8 degrees Celsius. Now let's do the same thing with part B, where for part B, the length we're given is 14.6 centimeters. So that's 9.823 times 14.6 minus 12.61. If we put that into a calculator, then we find a temperature of 19.5 degrees Celsius. 19.5 degrees Celsius. And so that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a comment, leave a comment down below. I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.